closer, what can you tell us about this smart fridge, right? Uh, yeah, this is our smart InstaView refrigerator. Um, not only does it have the InstaView capability of being able to see inside the screen, um, also it's an LCD screen and it's full touch screen as well. So I can add notes on here, I can add expiration dates of certain things, whatever I want to add on here I can do that. It's kind of like the days when you had magnets and sticky notes on your refrigerator. So you can customize it for your family right here. So right. Not only can you see inside this door, some people want to see more, like what's inside of here, what's inside of here. Well, we have something called the panorama view. And what that does, it takes an image of the inside of the refrigerator. So I can see the different spots in the refrigerator. And then, you know what? If um, I can see what's in here and I can access this from my smartphone or tablet. So that makes sense if you're not at home, right? Absolutely. If I'm at the store, I can see what I have in the refrigerator. And the way I do that, it will refresh the image when the refrigerator doors are open. And then close the panorama cameras on the top. When you close this, it'll refresh the image. And then that way you can see the latest thing of what is on the shelves. Okay, what about the expiration days? Expiration dates, you'd have to enter those manually. Uh, okay. We don't have that scanning capability yet, but um, as you see here, I entered one for milk. There's seven days remaining. Okay. It'll notify you when it's expired. And it's just as easy as tapping on here, tapping on this, and then entering the item in the number of days before it expires. So it reminds you, hey, this is about to go back. Yes, correct. Um, or, you know what, if I use all that, if I use all the uh, milk, all I have to do is delete it. Um, something else nice about this, you can access um, all these recipes from the Food Network, which is kind of nice. You know, all kinds of apricot cranberry oatmeal, which is one of my favorites, I guess. So I can access that, or, you know, it has text to voice. So I can just tap here. So it reads the directions to you. Also, I can send this recipe directly to the oven. So that way it'll set the timer and it'll start cooking for me. Okay. So all that's included in there. Now, of course, with the smart refrigerator, you'd expect all the usual things, such as internet connection. You have that. You can access the weather um, right from here. Or I like to put my home on here just to see what it's doing in St. Louis. Yeah, I can find out what's happening. Or, I mean, I can even talk directly to Alexa and ask her. Alexa. What is the weather like in St. Louis, Missouri? Right now in St. Louis, Missouri, it's 60 degrees with cloudy skies. Today's forecast has showers, with a high of 62 degrees and a low of 18 degrees. So that's how that works. Plus, <clears throat> we're having a few connectivity issues right now, but I can typically control everything in this room. And that's what LG ThinkQ allows you to do. Um, this one with Amazon Alexa, or you might have seen in the other room with Google Assistant. I can control the air purifier, air conditioning, set temperatures, check status, everything, everything in, the, in your home. What about shopping lists? Um, I can add items to the shopping list using Alexa. Um, Alexa, add items to the shopping list. What can I add for you? Cheese, milk, butter. I've added cheese, milk, butter to your shopping list. Wow. So I can add it directly from there, or or I mean, I Annie, mean, when you go shopping, you you have to. How do you know what you have to buy? Well, that's the thing. You're going to have to kind of know that yourself for a while. So with your shopping list on here, yeah, here we are here. So this is kind of a cool thing here that you can add. Um, items on here so different family members they may want their cocoa puffs or a different one may want sugar or milk or something so you can add that on there as well um, also uh, I think that's pretty much it on this without the the connectivity like I mentioned isn't working right now but we would be able to turn off or turn on purifiers and so forth 
all part of the LG ThinkQ platform. It'll be a, it's an open source or OIC, open internet connection. If you're compatible in there and you're certified, uh, you can be brought into this platform. All of our new ranges in 2018 will be Smart ThinkQ. Um, so that way they're all compatible. Connected. Yes, yeah, all connected, correct. Wow. Thank you. Yes, sure thing. Have a great day. You too.